Hi, it's Miss Becky from Miss Becky's Musical Stories. Did you know that some books teach us many things? Like this book here. The title of this book is Let's Visit a Coral Reef by Kimberly Brennanman. And here is a pic beautiful picture of a coral reef. This book is going to teach us about the coral reef environment. That means who lives there? Who hangs out in the coral reef? We do not live in the coral reef. We can visit, but it's not our environment. Let's see whose it is. The colorful coral reef in warm, clear, salty ocean water, colorful fish dart and beautiful plants sway. Where are we? We are exploring a coral reef environment. Coral reef environments are home to many plants and animals. One kind of animal is the clownfish. Its bright colors and pattern are like a clown's colorful face paint. Let's explore a collection of colorful clownfish. A clown's fish is about the size of a person's hand. Why do you think these animals are called clownfish? So you could take out your hand and see that the clownfish is really not that big. So that's one animal that's in the coral reef. Creating a coral reef. Can you imagine a wall underwater? Can you imagine that it's, this wall was made by tiny animals? It's true. Tiny animals called coral polyps create a coral reef. Look how large the reef wall is. The person swimming next to it looks very small. Let's see, here's the person. Here's the large wall of the coral reef. A coral reef is made up of many coral polyps. The groups of coral polyps are called colonies. Coral polyps are shaped like tiny tubes with tentacles at the top. They have soft bodies and hard skeletons. So this is teaching us that the coral reef right here is actually an animal. When a coral polyp dies, its hard skeleton is left behind. The coral reef gets larger as more skeletons are left behind. The coral reef also grows when new coral polyps are made. So this one is getting big and colorful. Coral polyps create their coral reef home. Now this is the fish the home of the fish, the coral reef. And there are going to be other types of animals that live among the coral reef. So let's listen more. Hungry animals in the reef. Here is an animal swimming through the water and searching for a snack. It's a green turtle. Green turtles eat plants like seaweed and algae. Other sea turtles eat plants and animals like fish and crabs. So the sea turtle right here eats the things that are on the coral reef. So it needs the coral reef. Do you see this animal hiding in the reef? 
It is a moray eel right here. The eel could be a hiding, could be hiding to surprise an octopus. It wants to eat. Oh, there's an octopus. It could be, um, it could be hiding from a big grouper. And here's the grouper, which is a kind of fish. Hiding in the reef protects the eel from becoming another fish's dinner. So he's hiding in the coral reef so these fish don't try to eat him. Oh, I bet you know what kind of fish these are. Animal partners in the reef. Some animals help one another in the reef. Sea anemones help clownfish and clownfish help sea anemones. Sea anemones are beautiful animals with swaying tentacles, like right here. The sea anemone stings most animals, but it does not harm the clownfish. So the sea anemone stings the animals like it sting, like a bee stings, but not the clownfish. When the clownfish is among the sea anemone tentacles, it's safe from the animals that want to eat it. The clownfish help the sea anemone by eating its dead tentacles and keeping it clean. So they are helping each other. A grouper's mouth can have parasites. Parasites can harm the grouper and make it sick. A goby is a small fish that eats the parasites for food. The goby helps the, to protect the grouper from getting sick and the grouper parasites provide food for the goby. So here's our this is our grouper here, and this is the goby. Reefs help people. Plants and animals from the reef are used to make medicine for people. People eat fish, such as groupers, and other animals from the reef environment. The reefs are beautiful places for people to visit and enjoy. So that's a diver visiting the coral reef. And remember, this coral reef is, is an animal. It doesn't look like an animal. It looks like it could be like a plant or a rock or a shell, but the coral reef is an animal. Problems in the coral reef. Coral reefs can be harmed in many ways. Storms with big waves can smash the coral reef. Storms can wash soil into the clear water. The soil changes the water. The water becomes dirty and the sun cannot shine through. And this is a storm coming. When the sun cannot shine through the dirty water, algae and plants do not get their sunlight. They need to live. Animals that need to eat algae and plants will be harmed. Coral does not grow. Storms are not the only problem in the coral reef. People do things that harm the coral reef. So here, is something that's happening that's harming the coral reef. I wonder if you can notice what it is. This has soil in the water and it looks like the tire is harming the soil. People can harm the coral reef. When people litter, 
garbage can wash in the water of the coral reef. Tires and other garbage do not belong in the coral reef, just like the tire that I showed you on the other page, and other garbage as well. The garbage harms the animals. People also damage the reef by stepping on it and by taking pieces of coral to keep. So here's a piece of garbage, plastic, bag, and a can. They definitely do not belong there and they can harm the coral reef. And also, if you ever go visit a coral reef, and I have, um, you have to remember that you have to swim over it or beside it. You cannot step on it because it could break off and it could die. People can help the coral reef. When people throw away garbage properly, they are protecting the environment and coral reefs. If you are lucky enough to visit a coral reef, please treat it gently. Do not take pieces of coral or shells. Enjoy the beautiful coral reef by looking, not touching. We are looking right now at this beautiful coral reef. And that is the end. So I'm wondering what you learned in this story, in this book. We learned about the coral reef and some of the animals that live in the coral reef. We also learned what the coral reef is, right? The coral reef is an animal. We learned also that we need to protect the coral reef. It's an environment that we need to protect. So we're gonna talk about that more.